Okay, so you've started looking at square root functions here, and now we want to um, look a little bit deeper on how we could solve them um, symbolically. So first thing, we have to understand about the um, how square root functions work. So if I took the square root of 16, we know that the square root of 16 means what times itself equals 16, which is 4. And there's a few other what are called perfect squares. 16 is one of them. Um, the square root, let's say, of 25. Say what times itself is 25, which is 5. Um, the square root of 64 obviously would be 8. And let's say the square root of 100, obviously that is 10. So taking the square root, you're just trying to find the number that multiplied by itself equals this number right here. And 4 times 4 is 16, 5 times 5 is 25, 8 times 8 is 64, and 10 times 10 is 100. We could then take that answer, and to get that highlighted number back, we could do the opposite of square rooting, which is squaring it. And so if I squared each one of these, that means I'd multiply it by, it by itself. 4 squared is 16. 5 squared is 25. 8 squared is 64. And 10 squared is 100. So it looks like square rooting and squaring are opposites. Square rooting and squaring are opposites. Kind of like adding and subtracting are opposites and multiplying and dividing are opposites. Same thing with square rooting and squaring. Okay, so for example, if we said this, what is the square root of, let's do 3 squared. Well, we could work that out and say 3 squared, this part right here, that is just 9. So we get the square root of 9. And the square root of 9 is 3. Square root of 3 squared is 3. We could do the same thing here and say, what is the square root of 6 squared? Well, 6 squared is 36. When I do this part right here, and the square root of 36 is 6. Square root of 7 squared would be the square root of 49, which is just 7. Hopefully you can see that when you square and square root something, if I say the square root of 18 squared, I don't have to figure that out. Because if you look what's happening here, I'm just canceling things out. This square root and this square are opposites. It just leaves me with the 3. This square root and this square are opposites. They cancel each other out. It just leaves me with a 6. This square root and this square are opposites. It just leaves me with a 7. This square root and this square are opposites. So the answer is simply going to be 18. So you can take a little shortcut there. We're going to use that little shortcut when we start solving equations symbolically. OK, so for example, if we had this equation that said the square root of 2x equals, and let's say, um, 6. OK, the first thing we need to do is we need to get rid of this square root sign right here. And so the way we're going to get rid of it is we're going to do the opposite. We are going to square it. So we will put a little square right here. Whatever we do to one side, we have to go to the other side and do the exact same thing. Now, the square root and the square will cancel each other out. So this and this 
will cancel each other out. And all we'll be left with then is what's underneath the radical, the 2x, 2x equals 36. And then you could solve it, divide both sides by 2, and you get x is 18. Okay, we could do another example, um, very similar to that, but our first step, we'll always try to get rid of this part I put in green is called the radical. So we'll always try to get rid of the radical first. So let's do square root of x plus 5 equals, let's say, 4. The first thing we need to try to do is get rid of this radical. The way we do that is we square it. Go to the other, because we squared the left side, we got to square the right side also. The square root and the square cancel each other out, so this and this cancel each other out, and all you're left with is this part underneath the radical, which is x plus 5 equals, and 4 squared is 16. Then, of course, we would just subtract 5 and subtract 5, and we'd get x is 11. x is 11. Okay, let's do an, another example here that's going to look a little bit different. Let's say 2 square root x plus 4 equals, and let's say 10. Okay, now you can see the square root part. Before we can get rid of that square root, we've got to get rid of anything that's outside the square root. So, for example, we've got to get rid of this 2 right here first. That 2 is outside the square root. Before we can square both sides, we um, have to make sure that on one side there is only a um, square root and what's underneath it. So, to get rid of that 2 there, we should, since it's 2, times the square root of x plus 4. There's really a multiplication sign right here. This is times. And the opposite of times is to divide. So we divide this side by 2. Go to the other side and divide by 2. These cancel out. And now we just have square root x plus 4 equals 5. And we should know how to solve that. Opposite of square root is square square, these are going to cancel. We get then only what's left underneath here, x plus 4 equals 25. Subtract 4, subtract 4, and we get x is 21. Okay? All right. Um, uh, let's try one last one. And let's make it look like this. Let's say 5 square root of 2x. And over here, let's put minus 4 equals, and let's say, 26. Okay, so we've got the stuff underneath the radical right here. We're going to leave that till the end. We are first going to, we've got two sides here, we're going to get rid of this minus 4, and we're going to get rid of the times 5. You always get rid of the thing that says plus or minus first, so we'll get rid of the minus 4 first. We'll add 4 and add 4. And we get 5 radical 2x equals 30. The next thing we need to do then is we need to leave this radical and what's underneath it. We've got to get rid of that 5. We did one like that. We divide by 5, divide by 5. These cancel, so we get radical 2x equals 6. And now we know how to finish this. to get. Now that we only have what's underneath the radical left, we square both sides, square, square, these cancel.
cancel, we end up getting 2x equals 36, because 6 squared is 36. And then to finish this, divide by 2, divide by 2. And we can see that x is 18 when this side cancels out. Okay, so there's just a few problems for solving um, square root functions. And then when you do the Act 2 activity, you'll see more of these. But look back at your notes and, um, and even go back and, and listen to some of this again if you get stuck.